So here recently I've been seeing a lot of videos about influencers and celebrities taking delivery of their new cyber trucks, but I was scrolling through Instagram the other day and came across this video. And now after seeing this video, I, like many others, began to speculate what exactly is wrong with the new Tesla Cybertruck. And well, it turns out there is a lot of stuff that is wrong, and which we're going to talk about in this video. So if you've been keeping up with Tesla over the past six to eight months, you've probably noticed that there's been an influx of articles and reviews that are discussing exactly how bad the build quality is on Teslas. Now, a lot of these are particularly about the interior of Teslas and how poor the design quality quality is and how plasticky and finicky everything is and how much everything rattles but there are also legitimate concerns about things like brakes that on certain models have been documented to slam without warning or the range of the electric battery and how far the car can actually go is often inflated by the manufacturer so for example the tesla model y may say that it can go between 260 and 310 miles on the battery only but you may only actually get 240 to 290 miles out of it, which can kind of be a big issue if you're taking a long trip and you really need that 20 extra miles. By now, we've probably all heard about Tesla's woes and how poor their build quality is, but you may be asking yourself, how exactly does this play into the new Cybertruck? So as it turns out, a truck that has an MSRP well over $100,000 and has been delayed several times over the past couple of years actually shares in a lot of these issues and even more issues that were not present in earlier Tesla models. This is why over the past couple of days, articles and reports have been coming out that Tesla again is delaying deliveries of Cybertrucks to customers amid new issues, the most dangerous of which being that when you push the accelerator to the floor in the new Cybertruck, there's a chance that it can actually get stuck and turn into essentially a land missile. So despite this $100,000 wedge of cheese being delayed over the course of two years amid several failures, including this one at an auto show. Oh my fucking the truck is still a cheap piece of crap, and as you can see in the news article here, Tesla has reportedly paused all Cybertruck deliveries as customers have complained of a potentially fatal flaw with the electric vehicle's accelerator pedal. Now, there's been several reports that people have come out on social media and talked about in the Cybertruck forums about how Tesla has informed them that their Cybertruck deliveries have been delayed, and this is why. That pedal looks different, right? It's missing this. So a couple days ago, I'm driving, and let me see if I can get a good view here. I'm driving, and this goes here. As I'm driving, this wedge itself right there. And as you can see, based on the design of the floorboard, this sliding up, and the way this was still hooked onto the pedal, um, it held the accelerator down 100%. So as you can see from that video, which actually blew up on TikTok, it is a very cheap design in which the cover for the accelerator pedal is not fastened onto the actual pedal. So if you push the accelerator pedal down, the cover can slide up and get underneath the trim piece and pin the accelerator to the floor at 100%. Now the guy in the video did say that you can press the brake and it cancels out the accelerator pedal, but there are people out there who wouldn't have that in their mind if something like that did happen. They wouldn't be able to think fast enough and would get into some kind of an accident. And now while this report is unconfirmed, there was an incident on March 4th where a Cybertruck crashed into the Beverly Hills Hotel sign and it's possible that it was due to the accelerator pedal issue where it was pinned down to the floor and the driver couldn't figure out what was going on. And while this is a huge issue that could potentially cause fatal accidents, this is not actually the only reason why the delivery of the new Cybertruck is being delayed even further. As you can see on this post in the Cybertruck Owners Club forum, this guy has this to say. Took delivery today, all-wheel drive, made it one mile down road, started getting steering error, flashing red screen, pulled off side of highway, now the truck is dead, and I'm waiting for a tow truck. Dealer couldn't do anything for me. It was great for five minutes, tried everything, restarting, screen is stuck black and keeps beeping. Tesla really rushed these trucks out. What a nightmare. Now, I'm not sure if I 
exactly agree with the last statement that Tesla rushed these trucks out as they were delayed for over two years due to design flaws and issues that had to be straightened out. I do believe it's a great example to show how far Tesla will actually go to make something look nice on the outside, but actually really crappy on the inside. Like you're telling me that Tesla is so cheap they could not even afford two screw fasteners to fasten the accelerator pedal cover down to the accelerator pedal itself. The fact that people would actually pay over a hundred thousand dollars for such a poorly built truck is beyond me but the only reason they even paid it is because it's a Tesla because of the emblem. That's literally it. And now I think people are really starting to realize how much of a scam Tesla cars are because of how much they charge for how poorly they're built. There are other electric vehicles out there now and companies that build way better and way more reliable cars than Tesla for a cheaper price or the same price. And I believe as time goes on and more people get into buying electric vehicles, these other companies will be utilized a lot more and take up a greater part of the market share. And it's really going to hang Tesla out to dry, especially if they cannot come up with some better build quality and quality check procedures for their vehicles. And now while I do think the Ford Maverick does everything the Cybertruck does, but better for one fifth of the price, I think there are people that are dumb enough out there to buy the new Cybertruck for MSRP or for markup value just because it's a Tesla. And I think over time in the next year or two, the MSRP for the Cybertruck is actually going to decrease a lot like we've seen with other Tesla models in the past. Because Tesla already has a history of charging an arm and a leg for a car as soon as a new model comes out. And then after a year or two, when the initial hype has died down for the car, they lower the price by about 40 to 50 percent to try and keep up with sales volume numbers. So essentially what you should take away from this video is if you have $102,000 plus dollars to set on fire, buy a Cybertruck. That's, that's pretty much the point of this video. But anyways, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.